just got to Otamo International Airport, heading to Cape Town for about 24 hours. Um, a friend of mine is being ordained at his church tomorrow in Durbanville, so we're going to support him. We're going to go do um, a little bit of worship, and then we'll see what else Cape Town has to offer for the next 24 hours. Um, I pre-booked my parking at the airport, which pretty much means that I parked at the furthest possible point. I've got to Cape Town and my first stop is um, Signal Hill. I haven't been here in seriously in years. There's the mountain in the background. I won't lie, I'm not terribly excited to drive down. plan was um, after Signal Hill to go get some work done but it's actually such a beautiful day um, that I've come down to the beach, come down to Kim's Bay here, um, went for a walk along the beach. It is so crowded. Um, we're so spoiled when we go to Kayser's because there's like five people on the beach and we think we think it's crowded but Kim's Bay obviously always crowded but it's such a beautiful day, beautiful vibe so I'm done with that. So now I do need to go and find a place. Um, Go and get some work done. So made it down to um, Truth. Can I do some work? Can I have some good coffee? And of course, take some home with me. And then head over to Brett's for the evening. Sunday morning, um, it's just about 8 o'clock, I didn't sleep very well last night, haven't been sleeping lately and didn't sleep too well last night, so I woke up early and went out looking for coffee, couldn't find anything because everything was closed except for Kauai at Virgin Active, so I had my stuff with me, so I decided I'd gym a bit as well, so 8 o'clock now, feeling strong, feeling good, on my way to Durbanville, Durbanville Baptist, and Brett is being ordained as the worship pastor this morning, um, I'm going to be singing a bit, um, and then afterwards, heading back to Pretoria. I have a history of mess and coffee on me when I drive, so I'm rocking the towel. <laughs>
Cape Town Airport because quite a disaster getting into the flight. British Air had um, no reference that I exist. So even though I had a reference number and everything, they couldn't find me on their system. So it took a bit of a while to get that sorted. But I'm through going to the lounge now. loud. I managed to get some rest in the lounge after the mix up with my flight. Um, some last bit of prep for tonight. Had a shower and a bit of a change of clothes. Um, and now we're boarding. So here goes. Joburg, pretty decent flight, a bit of a rough landing. Um, got my Red Bull to get me through the night. And I guess it's back to real life.